so I have this old laptop that's not working properly and I want to remove this screen so I can use it in a Raspberry Pi project. So in order to salvage the screen, I first need to take apart the laptop. First of all, let's pop the battery. And then it's a matter of finding all the screws and removing them. When disassembling a laptop like this, you should be careful because if it has a compact fluorescent screen, it does contain mercury, so keep that in mind. Okay, so here we have the Wi-Fi card. Now let's remove the memory cards. And there are two in this laptop. One, uh, one gig and one two gig. Okay, and then I'm gonna clip the Wi-Fi here because I don't need that. Now when I have all the screws removed from the back, I'm going to try to pop off the section here that holds the keyboard. I'm gently removing the keyboard by loosening the clips on either side of the ribbon. Now I have another ribbon connecting the power and the wireless buttons. Okay, so I'm looking for more screws to remove and sometimes they can be a little difficult to find and this is all different on different laptops where the screws are and sometimes they may be hiding uh, behind stickers or whatever, so you have to really just kind of look around. You can see the wires coming from the screen here and the ribbons, so I'm working on disconnecting those. I'm basically trying to remove as much as possible, disconnect any wiring, remove any screws, taking it apart as much as I can. And these cut wires on the side here are wireless wires, that's why they don't go anywhere. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom here. I'm trying to separate the bottom from the piece on top and it kind of snaps out of it. However, sometimes here I get stuck and that's when I know I must have missed a screw. And there it is. So let's remove that and let's see if it loosens up better now. I'm trying to disassemble this as carefully as I can, so I could theoretically put it back together again. I actually have an idea for another project to use the motherboard for, which is also why I'm trying to be really careful. You don't have to remove every single screw like this on all laptops to access the screen. However, this particular model has hidden screws that need to be removed in order to get to the screen, which is why I'm taking it apart completely and it's coming off. Now I can see I have to remove these screws on these little plates here connecting the monitor to the base. And there we go, it's off. Then I can snap off the plastic piece around the screen and it's off. Nice. Okay, so now to remove some more screws. There are screws all around here and on the side here too. And it's off the case. So let's remove the band here and any other wires carefully. <laughs> and here we go. So now I need to find the number for the right HDMI controller. So this is going to be different for each screen. And okay, you can see how there are a couple of labels here. So I'm just gonna try and search for them all and see what comes up. And uh, here we go, this must be it because it actually matches to a controller. So now I know I can go ahead and order this particular unit and it will match the screen and I can use it for my next Raspberry Pi project. But that is another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and, and I'll see you soon.